sinking in a river in southern Iraq. The wreck of Saddam Hussein's yacht looks sturdy even though it has rusted over time. This luxury ship belonging to the former Iraqi leader seems to be a vivid reminder of the iron-fisted government that ended with the invasion of the United States two decades ago. Quoted from the BBC page, the 4th of October 2003, Al Mansur is a 121-meter-high ship which became a symbol of Saddam Hussein's wealth as well as power. Al Mansur, which in Arabic means the winner, first launched in 1982. At the time, it was one of the largest and most impressive private yachts in the world. The ship, which was built by a Finnish company, is also the largest ship in the Iraqi Navy, even though it is not used for military purposes. In fact, compared to a private cruise ship, Al Mansur is more like a ferry serving luxury sea transportation. This 7,359 ton ship has a large central hall and can accommodate 200 guests. With a crew of 120, Al Mansur pampered Saddam Hussein with luxurious rooms and jacuzzis with rows of beautiful lights surrounding the mirrors. The decoration is designed according to the style of an Arab hotel which is full of luxury. This ship is equipped with a submarine rescue capsule or mini submarine which is used to save oneself in an emergency. Until March 20, 2003, as quoted by Compass.com, the 1st of April 2022, the United States, U.S., led the invasion of Iraq after the then-president, George W. Bush, accused Saddam Hussein of holding weapons of mass destruction. The Iraq War could no longer be avoided. Saddam Hussein at that time ordered the cruise ship to be moved from the southern port of Umm Qasr to the inner port of Basra. Nevertheless, the existence of Al Mansur, who looks luxurious and majestic, is certainly an easy target for troops. Al Mansur then came under fire from several bombs from the U.S. Navy. The upper deck and most of the superstructure of this ship was completely destroyed by the explosion and fire. Gradually, the luxurious Al Mansur capsizes and settles in the waters of Basra in Shat al Arab, Iraq. Now, 20 years later, all signs of Saddam Hussein's wealth and opulence are gone. Al Mansur appeared to have been looted and stripped. In fact, its starboard side had sunk deep into the riverbed. Quoted from CNN News, the 17th of March 2023. This luxury shipwreck has transformed into a place for fishermen to enjoy tea in the afternoon. A local fisherman, Hussein Sabahi, said he enjoyed spending time on the shipwreck. When it was in the possession of the former president, 
no one could approach it. I don't believe it belonged to Saddam, and now I am exploring it, he said. Some Iraqis also said that the shipwreck left by Saddam Hussein must be preserved as part of history. However, successive governments have yet to allocate funds to restore Al Mansur. This yacht is like a precious gem, like a rare masterpiece that you keep at home, said Zahi Musa, a Navy captain in the Iraqi Ministry of Transport. We feel sad because the ship looks like this, he continued. Besides Al Mansur, Saddam Hussein also had another cruise ship called Basra Breeze. The 82-meter-long ship launched in 1981 has a luckier fate than Al Mansur. The ship made by the Danish company is now transformed into a luxury hotel for sailors.